Hello and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Casey. In today's lesson, I'm going to finish building my shed model using SolidWorks Weldments techniques. If you want to see how I created a 3D sketch or the custom weldment profiles for this model, be sure to check out parts 1 and 2 of this video series. Since I already did the prep work in my first two videos, I'm going to jump right in and start adding my structural members. First, I need to select my profile and size, then I can begin adding groups. You can add multiple path segments to one group, and also you can add multiple groups within one structural member feature. The only constraint is all groups within the same feature have to use the same profile and size. Once you make your first path segment selection, additional controls appear. I will press the Locate Profile button to define where I want my profile in relation to the path segment. After adding a couple groups, I will utilize mirror and pattern commands to populate the rest of my shed studs. Next, I will add the 2x4s across the tops and bottoms of the studs. Where the corners meet, I have the option of three corner treatments I can apply to all corners. Also, you can individually modify every corner by selecting the joint at each respective corner. Once I'm done adjusting all the corners, I need to add in the roof rafters. To create the roof rafters, I will use the same techniques but switch to my 2x6 profile. The profile comes in twisted when I add in the rafters. To align the profile correctly, simply click inside the alignment box and select an edge or line segment to align with. Again, I will use a linear pattern to replicate this rafter four more times. The last step is to clean up the overlap with the rafters and the walls. I will use the Trim Extend feature to accomplish this. First, select the bodies that you want to trim. Then we have the two options for our trim tool. We can either use bodies or faces. For this scenario, I'm going to use faces. I will make my selections and then check to confirm the preview looks correct before accepting. Now that my frame is finished, I just need to use normal SOLIDWORKS modeling techniques such as extrudes and cuts to add in the plywood and roofing to finish my shed model. Lastly, applying some wood appearances to the walls and studs makes this model look the part. Thanks for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip.